Hello everyone, hello, welcome to the 1am Witchy Tower Challenge tonight. We're going to be summoning Candy Cane. Now, make sure to like and subscribe. One of you guys wants me to summon Candy Cane, the creepypasta, at Christmas Day or at Christmas when that time hits. So, I'm just going to say this. I'm going to be summoning Santa on that day. So, I will be summoning Candy Cane tonight. And after 1am, I will be summoning Daigo at 3 a.m. Now, make sure to like and subscribe. Shout out to our subscriber when we do it. Please go follow his YouTube, his or her YouTube channel. The link will be down in the description below. Copy out the end of the video. Let's do this thing. So, uh, let me explain the 1 a.m. which is tower challenge. The 1 a.m. challenge is a tower of healing activity where all supernatural power from witches' power beyond their grave or above that or living or dead, all of their power is at the maximum at 1. 2 e.m. hits, that power goes back down to normal. So let me explain how this hour is literally cursed of which, which sorcery. So, City of Salem, or some other places besides Salem, uh, they used to hang um, witches. At this time, at 1 o'clock, while they were being hung, the witches, all of them, thought to themselves, why not we put a curse on this? So every time one of us gets hung, our powers are at their maximum at this time. So we can get some revenge for what they did to us. That's right. That's why they cursed this hour so that one hour, 1 a.m., all the witches who were falsely accused of witchcraft may curse this hour for one hour to get their revenge for the people who hung them. That's right. 12 a.m. is the devil's hour. 3 a.m. is the devil's hour. Both of them is the tower of power and action. Your goons, comments, ghosts, etc. All supernatural power is at the maximum from 12. Then 1 a.m. hits. 1 a.m. witches are up to down. 3 devil's hour. Strength up, 4 a.m., back down to normal. So we're going to be giving Candy Pop a quick phone call. And then after this hour goes by, uh, we're going to take a nap. And then I'm going to wake up at 2.55 so that I can be ready to summon Daigo. So one of you guys wants me to, wanted me to summon Daigo. And I think this was about a few months ago, so I apologize for the delay, but have no fear, we're summoning Daigo tonight at 3 a.m. So, let me explain how this challenge goes. I put in one rule in for this challenge. It's basically this. Every YouTuber knows about this rule, so let me say it. And watch all the way to the very end, so that you'll know. Set your alarm clock for 5 or 10 minutes before 1 a.m. Splash some cold water to your face, help you wake up. Memorize the rules like two times. Make yourself presentable. Because here's the thing. If you wake up at 1 a.m., you're going to be literally half asleep, not presentable. Um, even if you do the rules like half complete or completely full complete, the challenge will not work. You got to be extremely wide awake to do this challenge. You got to read, read the instructions like literally two times. Make yourself presentable. Uh, get, get yourself a little bit dressed so that you can be ready to do this challenge. That's right. So, here's the thing I would do. Set your alarm clock for 5 or 10 minutes before 1 a.m. Splash some cold water in your face, help you wake up. Have tea, water, milk, soda, hot chocolate, no coffee. Because coffee will keep you up all night long and you will not get any sleep. And that's all you gotta do. So, here's how the challenge goes. Set your alarm clock for 5 or 10 minutes before 1 a.m. Splash some cold water in your face, help you wake up. Lock the windows, lock the doors, turn off all the lights, go to your bed, close the door, lock it. Stay on your bed. Give her a call like literally 10 times, 10 times more, 10 times more, 10 times more, 10 times more, enough to piss her off. So that when she answers, when she hangs, and then when she hangs up, that means she is on the way. And once she's on the way, when the lights go out, we might hear and see her. We have to immediately turn on the lights because even when they have been nice... 
they will go off on their bad side. So I have a strange feeling they're going to be going off on their bad side. Or she'll leave me like maybe like a giant candy cane or something. something. I don't know what's going to happen, but I do know this. They've been going a little bit nice so far. But if anyone knows, they're mean as fuck. All right, enough talking. Let's do this thing. Candy Pop, it's me, Mira Fazbear. Are you there? Would like to meet you. <laughs> okay, that was the most creepiest laugh of all existence. I cannot believe that she's loved to meet you and she laughed. That was fucking terrifying. What the holy shit? <laughs> and the phone's glitching. Oh no. Oh no. Here we go. Oh shit. Guys, tell me in the comments below if you hear or see her. Manny King. Hi. Hi, how you doing? One question. Why are you called a candy cane? I mean, really, you do not look like candy cane. Like an actual one. I mean, if you were an actual one, I think you'd be eaten by now. Maybe by slender by me, because I love candy. What? Well, have a candy cane. What? Right, just say. I would like to play a game with you. <laughs> Bus has to lie down while the other one performs surgery on them. Don't worry. It'll only hurt a lot. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. You do not need to put surgery on me. No. 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 Listen. 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 Let's talk about this. Listen. You do you. I do me, and you don't have to do surgery on me with, with that mallet. You can do surgery to every enemy that you know. Just not me. I mean, we're sisters, right? That's what I thought with that smile of yours. Like I said, you do you, I'll do me. And you can do killing surgery as much to your enemies as you want. Just don't do me, okay? I'll watch from the sidelines. I want to see you make a human pancake. <laughs> no, no, I'm turning on light. Turn on light. Turn on light. What the fucking shit just happened? All right, let's review on what the fuck just happened. We gave her a call. She picks up the phone after giving her a call about sixty times. She picks up. Then she hangs up, phone starts glitching, lights go out, we hear and see her, she's talking about wanting to do surgery, have me lie down and stuff, while she does fucking surgery on me with the mallet. I'm like, no, I'm telling her no, the answer's no, don't do surgery on me, because I'm totally fine, and I told her, you do you, I'll do me, and you can do surgery to any of your enemies, just don't do me. I was holding my blade, and I, I released my blade, but immediately I turned around and saw her, because I kind of had a feeling I could use my Excalius blade to, um, literally not have her try to get, get me, because she's literally my sis my creepy pasta sister. Well, as soon as I turn on the light... We hear flashing lights and vanishing sounds. She didn't leave anything for me, considering the fact I was, like, pointing this at her, telling her to back off, even though I was hearing some footsteps from her. As soon as we heard flashing lights and vanishing sounds, it me one thing, and one thing only. It's 2 a.m. We made it. Okay, guys, I hope you all enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one. Have an amazing day, and, uh... This was... Epic and fun. I'll see you all in the next one. Have an amazing day and uh, peace out, everybody. Goodbye. See you all in three. Summoning Dagon is next. Bye.